So I could straight up just say like a carbon fiber black backpack. All right, so Roblox Studio has just released a new feature called the Texture Generator. And it's fairly self-explanatory, right? I mean, you select a part, you click on Texture Generator, and then you can like, you know, write down whatever you want. Um, I don't know, I could write rocks, for example, and then it's going to allow me to preview and then apply the texture. And even if like you aren't someone who uses Roblox Studio, this is something I still think you should pay attention to just because like a lot of, you know, game engines um, and just like applications in general are beginning to use like these AI tools in their game. I mean, hell, like literally Roblox Studio is an example of this. Like the very first thing was like the AI assistant, right? Where you can like t tell it to like, I don't know, write me a script that kills every player and then it's just gonna like give us the script that does exactly that yeah so it makes a function that like whenever a player is added they find their humanoid and then they just set their health to zero and i believe roblox has also made something called a material generator and by material i mean you know like these things rainbow pebble material and yeah so it just made me three rainbow pebble materials that i could use but now we have the texture generator and i'm not sure why the part looks like this but the idea of the texture generator is that it basically can detect like how a mesh looks and a mesh is basically just like a model that's that has a different shape than like a regular cube or like a sphere or something like that. Like a good example would be like a 3D model of a backpack, right? That would be considered a mesh. And so how this AI works is if I tell it to generate me like a red backpack, for example, and then I tell it to generate that texture onto the 3D model of the backpack, it will actually detect the model. So like it, it's weird to explain, but it's it's going to know like like which parts of the backpack are which, right? Like it's going to know that like okay, if we take this 3D model and it has these like handles on the back, right? Then those handles probably should be black, right? And then the front of the backpack could be red. And then it's going to add all the other detail like you know zippers, pockets, stuff like that. And I'll actually go into a place that was made by the Roblox admins, which contains a bunch of like these like empty blank meshes that we can try and experiment with. And if you want to try it out for yourself, it's called like texture generator demo place or something like that. Edit in Studio. So we have a bunch of cool like blank models to work with and all of these models all of these models, their textures were AI generated. This backpack is AI generated. <laughs> like, that's pretty cool. Now, there is a fairly crippling um, limitation of the texture generator, okay? Or I, I guess I shouldn't say like crippling because like it's not that bad. But the limitation is that you only get 25 previews per day. And a preview is when like it shows you how the texture would look like, but it doesn't actually apply it onto the model. And then if you want to apply the texture to the model, you only get, I believe, like five of those per day. But with that being said, let's actually try out the texture generator. So first, let's begin with this couch. Now, something cool you can do is actually you can like change the generation angle. Uh, what Roblox says is that this is like going to be the most important view of the model and it's going to be like prioritized by the generator. So I'm going to position so that the camera is facing the front of the couch. And then we need to describe a texture for your mesh. OK, so this is where we can honestly just have fun with this. Um, I don't even know if this is a couch. Is this a couch or a chair? Probably a chair. So I'll say a chair, um, a, a blue chair, okay, a blue chair that has droplets of water around it, okay? So let's see how that's gonna look like. Okay, yeah, no, look at that light blue chair with like this like nice little wooden thing, which I didn't ask for, but it's nice to have. And yeah, over here, see, it made me the little droplets of water. Like I can like look around. Oh, that is cool. I'm not gonna apply just yet because this wasn't exactly the look I was going for, but like you can see how professional this actually looks. But now let's try this coffee cup model. And I do want this to be a little more interesting. Okay, so let's make something like a black metal coffee cup with uh red lasers on the side i don't i don't even know what that means but let's see oh wow oh wow this is probably one of the most amazing things i've ever seen it has like these like little scratches on it as well that is so cool this is what i want to actually apply so let's actually and it's going to take it 37 seconds so i'll just you know cut to that and there we go yeah no that actually does look very yeah there we go we have the little scratches now the model will not always look you know exactly how we saw it in the preview just because like it is a limitation of the roblox engine that like models can't have textures that look too good you know for some stupid reason but like honestly this is very close to what we had on the preview one thing i want you to pay more attention to is also like just how well it actually applies the textures onto whatever model it's working with right because look like this cup it has like sections right it has like this section then like, you know, this section, then this, you know, this section, like it's separated. And the reason it's separated is because the model that it's working with 
has these sections. So the AI is smart enough to actually understand like what model it's working with and how to actually make it look realistic, right? Like for example, how to make the handle look like an actual handle. Yeah, so for this plant, I could honestly do something like water bowl with fish in it, seaweed growing above it. And yeah, look at that. That's actually so cool. Wow. Yeah, look, it has like the... Oh, that's so amazing. Yeah, and here's how it looks fully generated, which actually is fairly close to what we saw. Look at that. I am a bit upset that there isn't like any like visible fish in the bowl but honestly like that's good enough i don't know i i really like how this looks and now we're down to the t-shirt and i actually want to show you a quick limitation of this texture generator and it's that it seems to be unable to generate like text a black t-shirt that says hello world yeah so already off the bat you know it's not a black t-shirt it's a white t-shirt and it's weird because when i rotate it this sleeve becomes black somehow yeah so the generator is good until you begin getting into like more advanced like prompts it seems to just completely like shut down on you and give you this like weird white t-shirt if you want to test these out yourself like i said you can always go check out the game but i want to focus on the backpack just because this was the one that actually gave me the best results so i could straight up just say like a carbon fiber black backpack okay and look at how cool this looks like seriously like this looks like a real backpack has some like obscure logo on the corner as they all do and yeah like even with a simple prompt i found that this backpack model always got just the best results and like i said before it does lose like a great amount of detail when converted just because that's how roblox studio functions right now for some reason so i do believe that the next step for roblox studio is to actually allow models to be a lot more customized right because like you saw the previews right like the previews looked amazing so if we can just make the models look exactly like the previews dude that that'll be amazing going back onto the meshes right like you know we can see how these were actually very easy to make literally just one prompt and i guarantee that if i had spent a bit more time you know figuring out how like the prompts worked and just you know thinking of like better ideas in general I could have honestly made these textures look amazing. Honestly, I do think this texture generator is like the next step for Roblox, right? Because I do feel like for a lot of Roblox developers, where like they want to actually have good assets for their game, but then the only option they have is just to go to the toolbox and like maybe find something. However, I don't think that this will replace artists, right? Because people are saying like, oh, oh yeah, AI is going to take our jobs, but like it's really not. What I found this generator to be is like more of a tool. Right now they look amazing, but like I guarantee that when everyone begins using this generator it'll just be like so obvious to know when a texture has been ai generated so i think using it just as like a tool for certain parts of your game will work like for example maybe you want to have like some cleanup simulator and you want to like collect like cans or something right you can use this texture generator to like generate unique textures for each can it does kind of suck that i don't have enough time today to actually like make a full game using this generator i mean like to be fair i did exactly that in like my previous um ai videos but in the future i do want to try it with the texture generator as well i guess i will address the controversies as well about the ai right like i briefly touched on the idea of like oh yeah ai is taking our jobs but look as a developer who has been developing for over three Three years now ai is in the nicest way possible nothing but a tool but it is getting better than ever i do truly believe that developers will soon be like split thanks to ai with one side being the one in control of ai and the other side being jobless because of it and if you truly do believe that game development is something you want to pursue either for money or as a hobby then i do have something that i've put over 40 hours of work in which is guaranteed to put you on the side of the developers who are able to harness the ai it is literally the only product that I sell and I'm really proud of it because I know for a fact that it works. So if you don't want to get cucked by AI, then scroll down right now and click the link in the description. But with that being said, you know, comment your thoughts on AI, comment future video ideas I could do with this AI that you want to see. And as always, we're back to basics. Thank you for watching.